Hello guys, my name is JV Dan. Today I will show you how to transfer files between your computer and your Android between your computer and your Windows subsystem for Android or in this case WSA. So I'm going to teach you how to transfer files from your computer to your WSA. Now first thing first of course you need to have Windows subsystem for Android right here. Windows subsystem for Android. Alright. Second, you need to kickstart WSA or Windows Subsystem for Android first. You do that by opening the file, the file manager of WSA. Or clicking this button right here. There we go. But if you haven't opened the file manager yet, w if you haven't opened the WSA file manager yet, it will take a while, like, you know, minutes then you scroll down and see that there is IP address now you will it will say unavailable so make sure you click the refresh button okay after that after you click the refresh button your IP address should appear right here May make sure you press this copy button and then just close the whole damn thing alright so open up your command prompt I'm using Windows terminal which is basically just Windows command prompt but on steroids now this is what I call ADB debugging tool now for those who don't know ADB debugger as you can see this is a tool made by made by Google to debug your Android to debug your Android phone now as you can see go use any search engine here I'm going to use Bing because it's the quickest the quickest right now and why not it the search result no matter what search engine you use it will give you this Android website, Android developer website as the first search result. Now as you can see, here it is, the download is already here. Download file. Download it here. Alright, scroll down and you can see download. Let's scroll down accept and download since I already downloaded the whole damn thing you can just this is a zip file by the way hold on as you can see this is a zip file platform tools just extract it using any software I like archive extracting software now since I already have it I'm just going to delete this make sure you navigate to the folder as you can see it should look like this the folder should look like this it have after you extract it of course now type adb devices as you can see i already connected mine but if you haven't connected adb connect and then paste the ip address this will connect adb to your WSA virtual Android emulator since I already am connected let's move on to our phase 2 which is by the which is transferring your files so as you can see this is a batch file but don't let it fool you because as you can see this is this batch file contains the necessary ins instruction to for you to download I mean for you to transfer your files now as you can see type this out so, or, uh, oh yeah by the way uh, here you put your directory in here your ADB directory here so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to that platform tools thingy and copy paste the whole thing 
just copy and then paste it there we go like depending on where you put the your ADB debugger folder mine is here but I'm pretty sure yours will be different alright just type this whole code or if you don't want to type it one by one I will be providing the code in the description below now you close that oh yeah make sure you save the file alright you type it out first at notepad like here at notepad and make sure you save it alright you save it as dot bad alright you save it as dot bad uh, as you can see download dot bad save as type all files all files dot bad you can name it whatever you want but it must end with dot bad this is dot this dot bad thingy is a file extension all right so as you can see now all you have to do is pretty much it's pretty simple actually here I have a test file all right this is just a text file all right it is a test file all you have to do is drag your file and drop it to the batch file as you can see here it is if it's successful then it should says that file has been transferred like here fi one file push one file push zero skip but if it's unsuccessful then it should not say this and then you have a problem usually usually when it comes to unsuccessful file transfer to WSA usually it's all comes down to your your ADB not connected anyways let's go back to Windows subsystem for Android and take a look at our file manager as you can see here it is this is the file that this is the file that we have transferred right here this is this is the test I mean this is the text and this is the file okay so anyways I hope you find this tutorial very useful and if you do please leave this video a like a comment give me a subscribe and share this video on your social media accounts thanks for watching and I will and I will see you in the next video goodbye